Tyler and Ethan are two neighbors who live in the same apartment complex. Tyler is in his early 40s and works from home as a graphic designer. He's been in the neighborhood for over five years and loves catching up with his neighbors during his daily walks. Ethan is in his late 20s, working in marketing for a tech startup, and just moved in a few months ago. He's been trying to get to know the community better and finds these casual chats a great way to feel more connected. Today, they're discussing small talk with neighbors, those everyday moments that bring a sense of community and friendliness to their routine. Hey Ethan, have you had any of those quick conversations with our neighbors recently? You know, the kind where you bump into them on your way to work or while taking out the trash? Yeah, definitely. Actually, just the other day, I ran into Mrs. Johnson while I was taking my dog for a walk. She's always so cheerful, even if it's just a quick, hey, how's it going? It feels good to have that kind of interaction in the neighborhood you know. It's funny, we never talk for more than a minute, but it's become kind of a routine. It's nice because it breaks up the day and reminds me that there's a community around me. Do you ever have those moments? All the time. I'll be heading out to get the mail, and suddenly, I'm chatting with Steve about the weather or weekend plans. Nothing too deep, but it feels good to connect, even if it's just about how hot it's been lately. Totally. Actually, Steve mentioned the other day that they're thinking about setting up a neighborhood barbecue. I think it's cool how something as simple as a weather comment can lead to bigger conversations and plans. Sometimes, you just start with, it's hot out today, and then next thing you know, you're talking about the best spots to grab a bite nearby. I guess, that's how community forms, it starts small and casual. Exactly. And speaking of barbecues last summer, we had one that really brought everyone together. It's nice to turn those brief chats into real events. Do you think you'll go if they do it again? Oh, for sure. I think events like that really help bring the neighborhood closer. I've actually started to recognize more faces just from walking around. Like, there's this older guy, I think his name's Carl, who's always sitting on his porch, reading the paper. We don't talk much, but even just a nod in his direction feels like a connection. It's funny how these small gestures add up over time. Yeah, Carl's great. He always has something wise to say, even if it's just in passing. Sometimes, those quick hellos turn into more over time. Do you ever talk about weekend plans with the neighbors? I've noticed that too. It's usually pretty casual, like, got anything fun planned for the weekend? I remember last week, I ran into Emma, and she was telling me about this new farmer's market that just opened up nearby. I ended up going, and it was such a great way to spend the afternoon. That's the cool thing about these small conversations, they can lead you to discover new things in your own neighborhood. I think it's those little tips that make living here feel even more personal. Exactly. It's amazing how often you learn something new just by chatting with people you bump into. Ever had any funny moments during these quick talks? Actually, yeah. Once, I was rushing to catch an Uber and I bumped into Mr. Miller from across the street. We were both in a hurry, but somehow ended up having this really quick conversation about the best way to keep squirrels out of the garden. It was so random, but we were both cracking up by the end of it. And now every time I see him, he asks if I'm still having squirrel problems. It's little things like that, those funny, random interactions, that really make you feel part of the neighborhood. Haha, <laughs> I love that.
It's always those unexpected conversations that leave an impression. Have you ever gotten into a deeper talk from one of those quick chats? Yeah, a few times actually. There's this neighbor, Claire, who I would only said a few words to before. But one day, I ran into her after work, and we ended up talking about how stressful our jobs had been lately. What started a small talk about how our days went turned into a really good conversation about how we both unwind after work. Now, whenever we see each other, it's like, hey, how's the work stress going? It's become a thing. It's cool how that happens. What do you think is the best part of these quick, everyday interactions with neighbors? For me, it's the sense of familiarity. Like, even if we don't know each other's life stories, just seeing a familiar face and exchanging a few words makes the whole neighborhood feel friendlier. And it's those little moments that build up over time saying hi, talking about the weather, laughing about random things. It's such a simple way to feel more connected. Plus, it helps me unwind a bit after a long day. Exactly. It's those small rituals that make a neighborhood feel more like home. And they don't take much effort, but they go a long way in creating that sense of community. For sure. And honestly, with how fast life moves, it's nice to have these slower, more genuine moments with the people around you. It doesn't take much to brighten someone's day, whether it's just a smile or a quick chat while taking out the trash. It all adds up. Couldn't agree more. These little interactions really make a difference. It's like a reminder that we're all part of something bigger, even if we're just talking about the weather or weekend plans. Yeah, and it's funny how a simple, how's it going, can actually make you feel like you belong here. I have only been in this neighborhood a few months, but those quick talks with neighbors have made it feel like home way faster than I expected. That's the best part of it. And who knows, maybe one of these small talks will lead to a lasting friendship. It's always possible. All right, that was a great chat. Small talk with neighbors may seem simple, but it's really an important way to build connections and feel more at home where you live. Definitely. I never realized how much those quick chats can brighten your day until I started experiencing it myself. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Exactly. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, Ethan. And to our viewers, what about you? Have you had any memorable small talks with your neighbors? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we'd love to hear your stories. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great conversations like this one.